Hey y'all, it's Jessica and today I'm going to be doing a story time video about the time, well the times when I got kicked off my college cheerleading team. And so I decided to do this video because right now I'm away to internship and I can't really make my normal fitness or cheer videos. So I was like, well why don't I do a story time and I can keep it like still keep it cheer related. And so like I feel like the best kind of story time videos are the stories where people have situations in their life where you feel like is that really happening? Like I feel like I'm in a lifetime movie. Like you know? And so that was the time when I was like did this really just happen? Anyway, so I'm going to start my story time about the time when I got kicked off my cheerleading team and why a whole lot of my teammates hated me at one point and how my cheer coach actually ran off with the money that we had fundraised. Like it was a really crazy year I'm just gonna get into the story so freshman year you know I was really excited just like any freshman you know like I'm a college cheerleader but like the thing that made the cheer team so unenjoyable like the main thing was my coach and like I just had this really weird feeling about her from the very start and like none of my other teammates saw it, it was just me. But anyway, so the coach, she used to like pick on me a whole lot. And like a lot of people, they always say, well, when a coach picks on you, that's a good thing because that means they see potential. But I feel like there's a difference between like picking on someone because you see potential in them and then just like just bullying. It wasn't just like constructive criticism. It was like insult. So like, for example, we had this routine and I would be dancing and stuff and she'd be like, oh, Jessica, you don't need to do this dance. You suck. You need to sit down. Like there's a difference between that and saying oh you should make your emotions sharper you know what I mean and like the thing that made it worse is like we didn't have uniforms we didn't have like bags or practice wear or any of that like we didn't get anything but a t-shirt that year and that's actually what we cheered in and so whenever we would ask about uniforms she'd be like oh we don't have any money in the budget so we had a fundraiser because everyone was just really tired of cheering in a t-shirt like I feel like I get it like it's not about the uniform, but there's something about being in a cheerleading uniform that makes you feel more like a cheerleader. And it's like when you don't have that uniform and you're just cheering in a t-shirt, I feel like it's not as enjoyable, you know? So we had a fundraiser to raise money so that we can buy uniforms. But for the fundraiser, we had to sell these cups. So we find out at the end that we raised $3,000 for the cups. And so all that the coach had to do then was turn in the money to the company and then they give us our cups and then they give us a portion of the money and then that's the money that we get to keep for our uniforms. And so anyway, so we did this fundraiser in like October, like it's the middle, very beginning of the year. And so it was like January and people were like, where are the cups, you know? People were like all in the group message like, where are the cups coach? Like. Where's the money? The coach kept making excuses whenever we'd ask that. She'd be like, oh, well, you know, I put in the order, but it's back ordered, so we probably won't get them till this day. Anyway, so when the coach wasn't around, one of my teammates was telling me about how the high school team that she coaches did the exact same cup fundraiser that we did, and they did it after us, but they already got their cups. And the, so it was like, she was like, where's the cup money? Like, she clearly must not have turned in this money. So it begins to be the second semester basketball season is about to be over and everyone is really mad and pissed off about the fact that we're still cheering in a t-shirt and so then I decided I just wanted to talk to my coach about the way that I was feeling about the whole cheer season and everything like about how I was feeling towards her about how her always picking on me and bullying me all the time and how I felt about the fact that we don't have uniforms and everyone's frustrated and all that so I tried to do this on game day so I go I head to the basketball stadium and I'm looking for my coach and I'm like where's coach nobody knows where she is and then it was like someone that was like selling tickets for the game that overheard me ask that and she said oh I know where your coach is she said oh your coach is out of town and so I was like wait you know that but we don't know that like she coaches us she's supposed to be at every single game and it's like she just ditched us like she just abandoned us and didn't come to the game because she she was out of town and didn't tell us in advance and so I just was like really upset and like I'm gonna admit I was really wrong for doing this but I got on snapchat and then I just made this whole rant because like whenever I'm upset like I rant a lot that's why I almost had to delete my twitter because I rant way too much but anyway so I got on snapchat and I made this rant and I was like these are my 10 reasons of why I don't like cheering here and so I just made this whole rant about everything that I felt everything pretty much that I was going to tell my coach if she was there but anyways so this was like 
a whole year and a half ago like this was like january 2015 so i don't remember every single 10 things i said and i wish i had a copy of like the snap to show you like i wish i had saved it or something but anyway so a lot of people that followed me they actually said they found the video to be actually like funny and stuff like they're like well yeah it's true because everything i said in the video was facts it was nothing opinionated it was nothing towards any of my teammates like i wasn't like oh i don't like this person it was all facts. I think I was like, we don't have uniforms. We don't. There's not a lot of school spirit. No one really shows up to the games. That's a fact. My coach is never here. That's a fact. My coach is always picking on me and bullying me. And I said something like, the school doesn't let us stunt because, like, the school I go to, there they have this. They had this really sexist rule my freshman year, but they got rid of it. But it was like you can you couldn't stunt unless there was a boy in the stunt group but we didn't have any boys on our team so therefore we just could not stunt so all we did really was just cheer and if you tumble then you could tumble too and so yeah so i was just like venting about that and then like the very last one i remember like it was like a countdown and then like the the, the number one one was like our chairs are ghetto and then <laughs> okay i'm not even gonna lie like yeah that was really bad and i was like yeah like i really should not have said that but that's just honestly how I was feeling because at our homecoming game, my grandmother was there. And we had this one cheer. It's like when the other team is shooting a free throw, it's like, Miss it, you can't shoot. Miss it, you ain't cute. It's something like that. And like, <laughs> my grandmother, when she heard us say that, she was like, what in the world? Like, I, and then like she talked to me after the game and she's like I feel like y'all should get rid of that cheer because it doesn't really represent the school yeah like I said a whole lot of people that follow me on snapchat they found they actually they said they found the video to be funny and yeah <laughs> a few of my teammates they actually did follow me so it's not like something I was keeping from my teammates everyone found the video funny and stuff and so then I deleted the snap like I guess 12 hours after I posted I was like maybe I should not have said this let me like let me delete that then tell me why that same week our coach finally magically shows up and she has she decides to have this get together at her house like this party at her house and so no one really knew what it was about it was just kind of random it was like okay and so, yeah, you know, it started off normal. We were just eating food, everyone talking, socializing and all that. And then, you know, it's like a good night. And then it's, it's approaching to be the end of the night. And then the coach is like, okay, we need to have a little talk about something. Keep in mind, all my teammates are here. I'm there. And then the coach is there. And then she's like, we need to have a talk about social media and Snapchat. And then when she said that, I was like, like, I was like, I knew that somebody told her because she doesn't follow me on snapchat so i know someone had to have like showed her or recorded it and, and sent it to her or something and so anyways so she's like hey hand me my ipad like she was talking to my teammates or whatever and then she's like oh and hand me those speakers too and then she like plays my snapchat story on speakers on her ipad in front of the whole team and like it was like everything that I was saying and stuff like that. And then it was just like really awkward because even like a whole lot of them followed me on Snapchat. I guess maybe they didn't see the snap, but <laughs> they were kind of like, they were all like acting all shocked and surprised except my few friends. Like I have a, like a friend group on the team of like five of us and like they were all like cracking up and laughing like during the whole thing because they thought the whole situation was just hilarious. I was just kind of like sitting there like, this the whole time while my snap was playing and, and then like when she was done it was like the whole team just started attacking me but then luckily like I said my friends they defended me they're like okay she was just stating facts that is true we don't have uniforms we don't we can't do this we can't do that and all that and then it turns out the only people that were really offended by my snapchat were the upperclassmen like the seniors and then like a few juniors because they're the ones that made up the cheer and they were really only offended by that one comment that I made about our cheers being ghetto and like they were just offended and so then like one of them was like um we made up that cheer and then one of my friends were like okay well then you made up a ghetto cheer because it's like okay like 
Because, like, honestly, I didn't really even understand the situation at the time. I'm like, okay, you're playing this Snapchat in front of everybody. you acting like this is top secret evidence. It was on Snapchat for all y'all to see. So, anyway, so the coach, she got all defensive. And she's like, well, the whole reason why I wasn't there was because my mother is sick and she's in the hospital. I don't know when she's going to die. My whole team, we all found that out to be a lie. I was like, okay, I'm really sorry, but you just, you need to communicate with us because... We, we're like looking up to you to give directions like do we go to this game and you're not even there you're not responding to us in the group message when we ask you questions and stuff like that and then like so anyway she just kept going on and on everyone's bickering back and forth and all that so then the coach was like you know, when I first saw this I immediately wanted to kick you off the team since you hate being a cheerleader here so much and then she's like but then I gave it some thought and I decided I'll keep you on. And I'm like, well, you know what? You don't have to kick me off because I'm quitting. And so then, I, like, she was like, no, Jessica, don't quit. Like, pretty much begging me to not quit. I was just really angry at that point. Mainly because I just feel like if she had an issue with that and everything that I said, I don't understand why she couldn't just come talk to me about that personally. Like, why does she have to make a whole scene in front of the whole cheer team? And, like, I just felt like that was so crazy. Like, that whole situation was so crazy. I'm like, is this really happening? Like, I seriously feel like I'm, this is something that would happen in a Lifetime movie or something like that. So, anyways, by that point, I was just in tears. Like, I was really upset about the whole situation. When I got back to my dorm, me and my friends, they were all, like, trying to convince me to apologize to the coach, like send a text message to the co to coach so I could be back on the team. But I was like, nope, I'm not about to do that. Like, I'm not, I'm not doing that. And then one of my friends, she took my phone and then sent a long paragraph apology to my coach saying that I want to be back on the team. So then, which I was actually glad that she did that later on when I thought about it. And I'm like, yeah, I'm glad I'm still on the team. And so, yeah, I was still on the team for that the rest of the season. We only had, like, two months of basketball season left. Then, like, a few weeks later, the coach, we noticed that the coach stops coming to games again. Like, she's disappearing and not telling us where she's going. Meanwhile, we still do not have that cup or fundraising money. Everyone's asking her about it, and she's ignoring us, not showing up to any games. And so then... We're like, okay, all of our family members who pay for these cups are asking, like, we need our cups. So we ended up ca contacting the school, and then the school ended up suing her, and they ended up getting all the money back. By the end of the year, everyone was starting to see that everything I was saying was actually happening. Like, how I said she ran off with our money, I, I, I was like, I feel like she stole our money. I don't think that she even turned in the money. This was also around the time where we found out that she was lying about her mom being sick because of stuff she was posting on Instagram. And so we got a new chair director, not a coach, but a, a director. And she told us that since we were cut short of a year, since our coach abandoned us in the middle of the season and all this crap was happening, we didn't have uniforms, all this crap, that we could get an additional year so no one has to try out again next year and you're just automatically on the team so I was automatically back on the team for the next year even though all the stuff that had happened this past year which was the second time that I got kicked off the team I was also doing competitive cheer and I really wanted to do competitive cheer because I just felt like the cheer team at my university I, I wasn't really learning anything and I felt like it wasn't pushing me because, like I said, we couldn't do stunts. We couldn't do a whole lot. It wasn't like real cheer to me. And so I wanted to do a real cheer cheerleading team outside of my campus. And so, like, this year, I was really trying to take the cheer team seriously. Like, I was like, I'm not going to do anything to get in trouble or any of that. And so, and so, pretty much, long story short, I was on the cheerleading team from the very start all the way, literally, until the last game. And I got kicked off on the last game. But... Here's the thing. So since it was a basketball tournament, no one really knew that that was going to be the last game. Like we could have had like a few more games left if we had won that game. But since we lost, we were out of the running for it. So that was ended up being the last game. And so what happened was this was around the time my competitive cheerleading season was getting really busy. Like we were having competitions where I had to travel, like going to Atlanta and Florida and all that for like the big competitions near the end of the year. And this basketball tournament was not even on our calendar and it's like I had told my coach that I was not going to be able to make these games because of my competitive chair so yeah I just honestly feel like it was petty because she knew 
that I wasn't going to be there. But then she used that against me. And now I might not even be able to try out next year. Like, I just feel like that's really ridiculous. So I ended up missing a few games because of competitive cheer. So like I said, this year we didn't have a coach. We just had a director and then the captain from last year she kind of took over as coach I guess so, and so she's like a senior and so anyway so she kicked me off of the team at the beginning of the game and then we lost and then she realized how pointless that would be because it's like okay well I'll just try out again next year and then um, she decided well you know what since this was the last game, I'm just going to ban you from tryouts. And so she was pretty much saying that I might not be able to try out next year, but she's going to discuss it with the authority and all that to see what they think about the whole situation. And so therefore, that means that I may not be able to try out again for next year. I already aged out of competitive cheer. Last year was my last year to do it, but since I'm 19 now, I can't do it anymore. And so I was just going to only do... Xavier cheer next year just because I really love cheer like I'm really really passionate about it and like I just cannot see myself not being a cheerleader and so to think like this is really it like I'm probably never going to be able to cheer again it kind of sucks and I might just apologize to the captain and like tell her like look I'm really sorry that I missed those games but I promise to be more committed like, and so yeah like that was pretty much the story of how I got kicked off two years in a row and I do feel like the first time that I got kicked off that yeah I really should have gotten kicked off but the second time I feel like that was honestly just really petty because she knew that I had these commitments the way I envisioned college cheer it was literally nothing like this like I tried to keep this video as short as possible yeah I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and so if you enjoyed this story time just give this video a thumbs up and you can comment something down below your opinions of it and what you think of the whole situation and so yeah if you're not subscribed to me already then subscribe and thank you